What's up, MP? Woo! I think it's time to do some laundry. That outfit smells foul. Both sides on the floor getting ready for the game ahead, and it's almost that time. Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NB. It's the final game of the regular season, Greg. It's time to look ahead for most teams. And for some, that's looking towards the playoffs, right? Others, it's looking to the offseason, but don't look too far down the road just yet we've got a game to play well we continue to monitor how this team fares against their rivals you might remember mp has made it his mission to beat every rival team that crosses his path and give mp all the credit in the world mp has delivered in rivalry games thus far we know it's been a major emphasis for him win as many of these as he can tonight might be one of the tougher challenges they face could be a close one so let's take a look at the charlotte starting lineup brandon miller out there with williams then it's isaiah jackson then it's cook and it's ball in at the point guard position and that's the elite shot making skill from brandon miller pass to tatum and here is mp guarded by jackson and they double up mp and he drops in the layup off the glass. MP with video game numbers. How about the 60, 20, and 10 triple double? An all-time game in league history. MP just doing everything. This guy is a human cheat code. Two open that time made it look too easy. Miller's got his second basket of the night. And nice mechanics from Miller there. Ready to fire as that pass was coming. Tatum passes to MP. And they double up MP. And there's Mitchell. That's good on the assist by MP. And bursting through inside. So difficult to contain when Mitchell's on the attack. Ball dishes to Miller. And a lot of 
contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And you watch Miller. He, he keeps the defense on its heels. They don't know what he's going to do. It's his first trip to the line. That free throw good from Miller. So, Stan, let me take you back to the 95-96 NBA season. It was your first year as an NBA assistant. And, of course, the Bulls winning 72 games in that season. Unbelievable. They were incredible, but one of my great memories in that season, the day of the trade deadline, we sent out five guys, brought in five new guys. We had to play the Bulls that night. Only one of those players made it in. We had only eight guys available, some guys who had hardly played for us. Rex Chapman had an unbelievable game, and we beat Michael Jordan's Bulls on that night. Oh, what a great story. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now, here's Ball. Last game, he had 28 points. Now, here is Miller. Guarded close. Good work there as it goes. Miller's got eight points. Going deep in his bag there. Miller with the incredible crossover. Down low. They get a hand on it. Here is Cook. One of the dependable scorers on the team. He's averaging close to 17 points a game. Jackson, a screen on Morant. Lock at six. Kept alive. Out to Miller. A second chance effort. Chicago grabs the miss. Just a tremendous run right now for him. 12 straight wins. Well, you look at the discipline, the way these guys play under control. They never get out of balance when they find themselves in a hole. They just continue to fight, play their game, and enforce their own pace. Here's Miller following the basket by Donovan Mitchell. Shots good by Miller. Well, his offense is carrying them right now. And even with the defense keying on him, he's making great adjustments on the fly. And the timeout called here by Billy Donovan. He's going to have a discussion here on the sideline. chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Taking a look at the Hornets, they're stuck in the same spot, still outside the top three. And I think for Chicago, they believed they were the best team entering the year. Others believed it too, and we've seen nothing to dissuade that assumption. Here is Cook, scoreless thus far. Outside Jackson. Ball against Morant. Ball kicks to Cook. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Yeah, sometimes you get in a shootout like this, but you just hope that you can get a stop first. There's MP. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And MP still gets the shot in the air. Other young guys might have folded under that foul, but he's able to get to the line. Markinen, he's checked in for the bowl. The Hornets also with a sub. Bridges checks in. And he's shown a great touch at the line. They've tested the big guy, but he's come through. It's Miller on the way. Over Mitchell. Miller, no luck. Well, I'm surprised that didn't fall for him. We know that's a shot he can hit. And there wasn't much resistance either. And they double up MP on the wing, Mitchell. I see him, I see him. Here's MP. And the rejection by Jackson. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, DA? Thanks very much. MP in the last game against Toronto got the job done. He had an impressive number of points, and he dominated the glass all night, ripping down 20 boards. He really worked hard in that game and put up some big numbers as a result. Guys, back to you. 
Excellent, David. Thank you. Greg, how impressive was it watching him completely take over? Unstoppable. Uh, they won that game because of his effort and just his overall relentlessness. Yeah, and we're likely to see them go to him early on. See if he can't replicate that performance. And so it's Charlotte with it. After Chicago picking up a basket just moments ago. Miller outside. Markinen against Williams. Shoots over Markinen. A shot by Williams, no good. I mean, come on, that's a shot you expect him to make. Here we are sizing up GA Jalen Williams, and his shooting has got to be his biggest strength. Absolutely. He's great at spacing the floor for his teammates with his catch and shoot abilities, but he's equally gifted shooting off the dribble. Now, ball following the three point attempt by Donovan Mitchell. Ball with the bucket. Ball's got his second basket. LaMelo using that body control there, making the play off contact. Morant kicks to Markinen. MP inside. Jackson on him. MP, no good. Pass the ball. Charlotte moving it around. There's the lob to Bridges. Fast break, Chicago. Markinen finds MP. Nice four for seven from the floor with that shot. Well, he's been very efficient in this quarter. Keep getting him the ball. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Hornets. Now ball. Six to shoot. No good there. Excellent D there from Markinen. Bulls have gone 7 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Here's MP and the dunk by MP. What an incredible game so far for MP. He's showing no signs of slowing down. Charlotte's gone 1 of 3 from beyond the arc so far in the game. Bridges outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got four assists now tonight. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Morant. Still yet to score. Knocked away. Kicks it out to Mitchell. At the elbow, it's MP. And they double up MP. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. It'll be a jump ball. Tatum, that's for two, and the Bulls tack on two more. Well, that's just great awareness on the part of Jason Tatum. He knew he had very little time. Ball surveying the defense. Bridges against Tatum. Bridges outside. Just five to shoot. The rejection by Tatum. And there's Tatum's link showing up at the defensive end. What a play. Well, he can beat you in a lot of ways. Very challenging to defend. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. So for the Bulls. Here's of Norkic. He's checked in for MP. Deciding to change it up. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to MP. To the paint. Tatum cleared for takeoff. And landing. Great move by Tatum. Getting to the rim and throwing it down. Hornets trail by five. And Charlotte looking at who they've got. Jalen Williams is out there with Brandon Miller. And it's Smith. Then there's Miles Bridges. And it's Cook in at the two. Greg, you look at today's point guards. So many different types that can be effective. 
and there's a lot more freedom for point guards to kind of explore the parameters of their game. Sometimes it's steady in an offense. Other times, it's to ignite it. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect in the line so far here in the second quarter. You love to see MP just attack that rim. Young players take note. Charlotte's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Now Smith, still scoreless. Outside Williams. Shot clock at five. Let's it fly. Charlotte no good that time either. Well, you can tell he's forcing things a bit at the moment. He's been trying to get it going, but this hasn't been his quarter. Here's MP. MP strong inside. Well, look, the defense has got to try a different plan on MP because what they're doing now is clearly not working. Smith the pass to Bridges. A shot from the low post is good. Bridges has got his third bucket of the night. The Bulls leading by five. Pass to Buzelis. Here's MP. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Miles Bridges. And you talk about building a legacy. That's MP's mindset, not just for himself, but for this team. And the Bulls making a change here. Moran's checked in. And both free throws good for MP. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Ball with it. And we know he can score. He's averaging around 21 and a half points a game. Hands the 12 footer. Ball's got six. And I love Ball's awareness. When the mid range J is available, he is more than happy to take it. MP. And the dunk by MP. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Pass to Miller. Bridges outside. Back to Miller. Bridges a screen on White. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down to just four points with a bucket from Cook. That's inexcusable defense right there. You gotta contest the shot better than that. MP inside. He had a career game last time out. Bucket after bucket. Despite his youth, MP showing grown man strength. And here is Ball. Miller outside. Bridges sets the screen for Miller. No good from outside. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. And the difference in that one, the efficiency from range. They really focused on getting good looks. And they were just draining it from outside. A great team shooting performance. Here's Bridges, and he uses the glass on the layup. Bridges has got six here in this quarter. Not only a jump shooter, Bridges is also dependable at knowing how to get it done inside. Back to MP. It's rebounded by Charlotte. A tough loss coming against New York in their last game play. And they brought the energy. I thought played well, but both teams really put on a great show. Unfortunately, someone had to lose. Yeah, that was two very evenly matched teams. But in the end, it came down to who executed better down the stretch. Terrific ball movement leading to the basket. You love to see it. And the Hornets call time here. 
In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Poked away and stolen by Tatum. Morant passes to MP, and the call will be against LaMelo Ball. That's his first foul. And here are the Bulls now. They lead by seven. Count it good. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Cook looking it over. Pass to Miller. Ball with it. Guarded by Morant. Six on the shot clock. Pulls up. Ball with the bucket. Ball's got eight points. The Bulls leading by seven. Outside Tatum to the middle. Out to Morant. Releases. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. Well, normally Morant is scoring off the dribble. It's good to see him being effective off the ball. Charlotte has gone for the three-pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times. Ball. It's held in by MP. Chicago has gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Oh, get up, MP. Woo. Oh, using that athleticism. MP finishing with some force. Forty-three seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Here is Cook, covered by Mitchell. To the inside. Jackson misses. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. MP inside. Guarded by Jackson. Oh, crafty move there from MP to get to the foul line. The young man, fearless inside. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. And he sinks the second. 15 seconds left in the first half. Ball against Morant. Ball up top over Morant. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down to just 10 points with the bucket from Ball. And so it's MP making things happen for the Chicago Bulls. Setting up teammates and getting buckets. He is looking as determined as ever. Right back after this break. And as we welcome you to halftime, no other way to say it, an abysmal start for the Charlotte Hornets. They've been shot out of the gym. Even when they do extend their defense, it doesn't matter. I don't know what the remedy is. I got three words for you, elbow sandwich. Now it's time to check in on how the Rookie of the Year race is shaping up. These guys have made a great case all season long, Shaq. And now they're processing things even faster, making even better decisions. That's impressive. Yeah, if your front office selected any one of these guys, you could say you won the draft. 
And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. We've got Bruzelis, MP out there with Tatum. Then there's John Morant, and it's Mitchell in at the two guard spot. That's Billy Donovan's five as we get going here in the second half. When Donovan Mitchell, Greg, is on the floor, he is the offense. <laughs> yeah, and that goes beyond just his ridiculous scoring. It gets overlooked that he's also a skilled passer. So one way or another, Mitchell is finding points out there. Hornets trail by 10. Now here's Ball. Jackson a screen on Morant. Ball from long range. And it's MP with the rebound. MP's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. And they double up MP. Chicago with the ball. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And if you really want to make things hard on yourselves, this is exactly how you do it. Turnovers on back-to-back -back trips down the floor. Unloads. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from Ball. And we've come to expect big things from LaMelo offensively. He loves to attack you on that end. Williams against Tatum. And it's off from three-point range. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. We haven't given up any points here in the second half. Jackson setting the pick here for Ball. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots over Morant. Will not go. This is off the front eye. The Bulls leading by eight. MP right side. Mitchell wide open. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. MP's got his seventh assist in the game. The Hornets have gone one of three since starting the second half. Jackson a screen on Morant. Ball from long range. Looks good, is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, you know it's become a three-point shooting league. Teams shooting a steady diet from outside. Here's MP. And the dunk by MP. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Yeah, I'd consider calling timeout right away after that one. The defense has to be better there. Here's Ball. Again, Ball missing. Chicago's got the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, improving dialogue between players and officials is a priority. Commissioner Silver says, now with high-fidelity audio, we're all able to hear a lot of what's being said. Now we have to take into account the high-stress environment. But there has to be a two-way sense of respect. I feel it's an area where we can make progress. Kevin? You know, the commissioner's always looking ahead and looking at every area, which is great for the game. And that'll be Charlotte as it goes out of bounds. Hornets retain possession. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. Yeah, there's nothing easy on offense. Coaches love seeing that kind of hustle on the defensive end. There's Ball with the three. Again, Ball missing. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Here's MP. Goes back up. It's MP muscling his way for two. Well, he's been nothing short of fantastic this game, and he has his team in a great spot as this thing winds down. Ball against Morant. 
The drive-by ball. Pass to Cook. Jackson with the screen. And it will go, and the Bulls' lead is cut to just 11 on the basket from Cook. Now that's a high-percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, it's certainly worth it to disrupt the offense. Coaches notice that extra effort. MP finds Mitchell. Good, and the assist goes to MP. MP's got assist number eight now on the night. Miller outside. Lobbed up there for Miller. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And offensively, Miller is terrific on the perimeter, but he can also play above the rim as well. Morant passes to MP, and the call will be against LaMelo Ball. That'll be his second foul of the game. Here's Mitchell. Sinks that one from the post. Mitchell's got the lead up to 14 now for the Bulls. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Ball kicks to Jackson. Ball against Morant. Williams outside. And it's the Hornets another three. And Ball is a proven distributor. He's got a real talent for spotting the cracks in the D. Kicks it out to Mitchell. And the Bulls another three. Well, he's just dominating right now. If his teammates are smart, they'll keep getting him the ball. Here is Cook. Nine points in the game so far. Outside, Ball. There's the drive, and the rejection by MP. And the edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Buzelis, no one around him. Offline with his three. I can't believe he missed that three. Regardless, that's not a shot the defense should be giving him. Ball finds Jackson. And the rejection by MP. Jackson. Sharp defensive instincts from MP. Showing off his IQ as a defender. They get the rebound. Shot clock at three. Jackson misses. Chicago leading by 14. Morant passes to MP. Hey, Stan, I've always wondered, back when you were coaching, college or pro, what was your defensive philosophy? Well, I think, first of all, Kevin, we always wanted to take away the easy baskets. In other words, we're going to get back in transition, not give away fast breaks. We are going to try to protect the pain and make sure we're not giving away layups. And we didn't want to foul unnecessarily and give away free throws. And the Hornets call time here. Markinen, he's checked in for Buzel. The Hornets also with the sub. Miles Bridges, he's checked in for Cook. Williams in the post. Arkinen on him. Well, a chance to check out some stats for MP. His assist numbers in the past five games have gone in the wrong direction. He's been out of sync with his teammates, sort of playing on an island instead of as part of a five-man unit. He hits one, then this is the second attempt from the free throw line. Hey, Stan, we've exported so much corporate basketball knowledge overseas. Uh, remember when Fratello and you and your brother Jeff would go over there and have these clinics and teach the coaches the game. And they've taken that knowledge, clearly, and run with it. No, I think that definitely happened when those guys went over. I think now it's sort of going the other way in large part. I know that all of us in the league now study what the great coaches in Europe are doing, and there's a lot of them, and the, the game is different, but they incorporate a lot of different concepts. I don't know a staff in the league that isn't uh, spending a lot of time studying in the international game. And they'll get another chance. Mitchell passes to MP. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Just five on the clock. Three-pointer, Markinen. They get it back. 
Morant outside. Shoots over ball. And Morant gets it to go on the assist by MP. MP's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. Ball, the pass to Miller. No good on the three. The Bulls leading by 17. Pass to MP. Three-pointer, marking it. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Well, clearly it hasn't been his best game offensively, but collectively they've still found a way to get the lead. Got a piece of it. Now ball. Shoots. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. And that's 17 points for LaMelo Ball. And he can carry a team. We've seen it from Ball before, and we're seeing it again. Here's MP. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Just Mr. Reliable again here today, Kevin. I mean, they need his points, and he's producing. Miller dishes the ball. 112 left to play in the third. Miller kicks to ball. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Ball's got 10 points here in the second half. Well, there's no question he's carrying the load in this quarter, but he's going to need some help. MP passes to Markinen, and they come right back with their own three-pointer. And the Bulls lead by 17. Charlotte has gone to the three-point shot eight times already in the second half and hit four of them. Outside Jackson. There's 39 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Morant. That is his first foul of the game. Williams, he's checked in for Chicago. There's 39 seconds left in the third quarter. Ball with a wide open look. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Ball's got 12 points now in the quarter. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts. Doing all he can to bring him back. Mitchell kicks to Morant. Here's MP. Plays it up and banks it in. MP's got 35. Well that's on the defense. How did they let MP get deep positioning like that? Here's Williams, and it's Chicago with the rebound. And following this game, they'll challenge the Grizzlies on the road at the FedEx Forum in Memphis. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Bulls lead by 17. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. In a moment now, as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard with the pass right on. We're going to switch here. MP's checked in. Isaiah Jackson, he's checked in for Charlotte. Here's Bridges. Pass to Smith. Back to Bridges. I've heard some talk about this idea, Stan. What do you think about adding a one-on-one -on -one tournament to the All-Star Weekend? Wow, Kevin, I love that idea. And if you could get the better players to play, I think there would be some serious interest in that from fans and some great competition among the players. And uh, we see it every night in the NBA. That's what we all crave for, right? We want to see the biggest names against each other. Yeah, every night we want to see the best players one-on-one -on -one against the other great players in the league. Setting the floor for the Hornets. Up it forward, it's Miller and Bridges. Cook out there with Smith. And it's Jackson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. 
Here's MP. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got six assists in the game. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Cook the pass to Miller. Smith outside. Here's Cook. Charlotte again missing. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. And they double up MP. Pass to Buzelis. The shot by Markinen. Nobody around. Nailed from three-point land. Markinen's got 11 in the second half. Charlotte has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Bridges a screen on White. Bridges with it. Here is Cook. They could use a bucket. Good on the three-point shot. Well, they're behind, but it's certainly not because of him. He's doing everything he can. He just needs more help from his teammates. Tatum, that's for two. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Jackson's got nine rebounds now tonight. Smith dishes to Cook. Smith surveying the D. Miller outside. Jackson a screen on Tatum. Clock at four. A baseline J. Shots good by Miller. Miller's got four this quarter. Now how about this move by Miller? Using the pick and roll to create some space for himself. Inside. Here's MP. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. Well, it's not going to get any easier if they can't improve their defensive intensity. They got to show some fight. Miller inside. He's guarded by Markinen. To the middle. Here's Bridges. Great D that time from Tatum. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Here's Bridges. Good defense by MP. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to shoot his way out of this one or not. And they double up MP. And the shot goes down. MP's got 43 points. The, the defense has just been unable to slow him down. Wow, what a game. Charlotte's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Here is Cook. Jackson looking around. And again, the Hornets missing. The Bulls have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the final period. Great shooting down the stretch. Here's MP. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got his seventh assist here tonight. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Pass to Bridges. Over Tatum. That's short off the rim. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Yeah, and sometimes guys just start pressing. The best thing for him is to just slow it down and concentrate on solid shot selection. A nice shot by MP. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here is Cook on the wing Miller. Looking to end the run, and that basket is going to count. Goaltending the official call. So, GA, what effect do you think the rule to limit flopping has had since it was put into place in the NBA? Well, I do think we're seeing less theatrics, and there were fines before, but a flop now might impact the game itself. So I'd say it's been a bit of a deterrent. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Williams comes in for Tatum, and Levine subbed in for Booz Ellis. Here is Cook. Outside Jackson. Outside ball. Five on the clock. Shoots over White. Ball no good. 
and I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, it was a great look. Sometimes they don't fall. You good, he hits again. And he once again surpasses the half century mark, and he's passed his own record for the most 50 point games in a season. He is a nightmare to defend. Try as they might, it seems like defenses are simply powerless to slow him down. Jackson a screen on White. Here's Ball, and the layup's good off the glass. Ball's got 14 points here in the second half. And we knew LaMelo was talented coming into the league. What we didn't quite know was how much of an impact he would make in terms of controlling the flow of the game. And there it is for him. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Yeah, he's leaving no doubt in this one. Doing everything he can to slam the door on a comeback. Jackson finds ball. Shoots over White. Rebound by the Bulls. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say mission accomplished now for the Bulls. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And words can hardly describe the way these guys have come out game after game after game and been dominant facing both conferences. When they hit the 72 win mark, we thought it couldn't continue. And when they rewrite the record books once more, we'll say, wow, we were glad we watched it all. What a team. And continued dominance against this team, winning both of their matchups this season. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for MP. Well, his triple-double stat line is evidence of his impact on this game. He was affecting play at all times. And Williams with the stuff. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley -oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. And stolen by Williams. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. To the paint. Jackson kicks to Williams. Charlotte moving it around. Ball, the pass to Jackson. Just three to shoot. From 12 feet out. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Yeah, the defender all open. And so the coach's challenge here comes into play. The coach protesting the personal foul call. And, and this is the time now where the officials can review. The previous play is under review. Personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Indeed, and the one thing with replay... After review, the ruling on the floor stands. For just the immense speed at which these players are moving. And how fast the action really is. And, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. No good. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw. Good game, MP. MP, you are the straw that stirs the drink. Son, you win so many games, I'm running out of things to say. Yeah, MP. 